They thought they had a foolproof plan, but eventually it caught up to them. It was a renovation that deputies say was handcrafted by Lowe's employees. All this merchandise being used to help build their personal bank accounts. It's a lot of money. For months, deputies say they saw workers checking out with big money items, but paying only small ticket prices to their co-conspirator co-workers. Oftentimes they were paying, but only a soft drink and walking out with hundreds of dollars in their in their shopping cart. Shopping carts full of expensive drills and saws and electrical equipment, all totaling $70,000, were all allegedly part of this carefully constructed scam that five employees had a hand in. We had uh, three accomplices that were cashiers, two that worked out on the floor, and the two that worked out on the floor would obviously fill their carts with high-priced merchandise and look for their cashier accomplices in order to go and check out through the uh, through the register. And once stolen and slid out the door, they allegedly sold it for cash on Craigslist. So what are they facing? Grand theft charges and dealing in stolen property. We know that they were using this property to sell it on Craigslist or to people that they knew. Lowe's itself eventually knew and helped build the case against its workers and helped install them behind some well-constructed bars. Never, as its slogan goes, stop improving. We have four that were taken into custody. There was one that's at large.